I'm Alexi Panos, and today Operation Build is celebrating Earth Day. I'm traveling all over the U.S. to connect with eco-minded companies and learn more about what they do. April 22, 1970 was the first Earth Day celebration. On that day, 20 million people gathered on the streets of America to protest the Industrial Revolution. An environmental change was born. Gaylord Nelson founded Earth Day while he was working as a senator. 45 years later, Earth Day is celebrated globally. In 2012, more than 100,000 people rode bikes in China to reduce CO2 emissions and save fuel. In Panama, 100 endangered species of orchids were planted and maintained to prevent their extinction in honor of Earth Day. You will not believe where I'm standing. Check this out. This is a living building and it's truly amazing. So what exactly is a living building? Well, it incorporates natural living systems with the latest green technology. It's designed to save energy, reduce carbon emissions and water consumption, and create an overall healthier living environment. This kind of sustainable environment for offices and homes is in the future. It's real and it's now. This huge atrium and the vegetation throughout the building provides enriched oxygen, which creates an amazing indoor air quality and an actual connection to nature. This is only a fraction of how this living building functions with the environment in the most green way possible. And what better location to launch our Earth Day special? So let's see how green America really is on this 45th anniversary of Earth Day. Operation Build continues to celebrate Earth Day. It's amazing how technology lends itself to going green. For Frank and Lisa, it's all about making their lawn look perfect. So that means the best possible tools. Lisa and Frank are ready to go green with their lawn tools. They want to ditch their outdated gas mower and blower and update to something revolutionary. They take great pride in their backyard. As they should, it's beautiful. Let's meet our homeowners. Hey guys, so nice to finally meet hey, you. Lexi, nice Hi. to meet you. Pleasure. Pleasure. Um, I have to say, your yard is gorgeous. We are obsessed. I am beyond having a green thumb. We want the best lawn in the neighborhood. Well, I think you're winning so far. <laughs> well, I'm not as obsessed. Well, maybe not as obsessed as my wife, but I love to mow in the lawn. Mm -hmm. I mean, what guy does it? True story. So let's see these lawn tools you're working with. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, so uh, does this thing still work? Of course it does, yeah. yeah. Just go ahead and pull the string. All right. said your neighbors probably want to kill you. <laughs> um, I think it's time for an upgrade and we're gonna bring you guys into this century. So you two hang tight and I will be back with something new and amazing for you. Great, thank that you. I'm here with Barnaby from Ego, the leader in battery operated lawn tools. Yeah, for so professional cool. as well as consumers. Wow, these are beautiful. I mean, just looking at them, I'm excited. Yeah, <laughs> and you know what? Having watched Lisa and Frank over there just yeah. bogging down, trying to start their mower. Yeah. I mean, this is the future, and the future is now. Yes. I mean, take a look at this bad boy. This is our blower, right? Wow. Absolutely awesome. Feel how nice and light that is. So light, and it's you don't have to like deal with trying to start it. Yeah, I mean you got to go to YouTube <laughs> these days to figure out how to start stuff. It's like, do I prime it, pump it? Totally. Yeah, but this one is just one button, and uh, you look a little hot right now. I'm gonna give you a blast. Oh my gosh. Ah! I hit your head. Absolutely. Whee! Okay. <laughs> So you're not losing any power with this? No, this is uh, as much power as a gas handheld and huh. just about as much as most gas backpacks. Wow, yeah. that's incredible. Check it out. This goes on each and every one oh, of the tools. It's a universal compatibility, so you can buy into the platform yeah. and actually save some money along the way by buying tools without batteries once you have a battery and a charger. That's great, so you're saving money versus buying gas all the time. Oh my gosh. For the mower, which we're gonna see in a minute. Okay, check out this bad boy right here. Mm -hmm. I mean, look how easily the battery goes on, right? Pop it in. Okay. 
I know. This has all the power and performance of gas. Consumer Reports top rated battery powered chainsaw. And when it was put against all gas chainsaws, yeah. came in number three. I mean, that says that a right? lot about the power of this. Wow, yeah, it does. We hired an arborist who had his eye on this 100 foot tall tree and we said, on a single charge, I want you to chop that tree down, but don't just do it in one fell swoop. Go up and limit, top it, and then just knock it down incrementally. This did it all on one charge. Get out. Yeah. That's insane. So this guy right here um, is professional grade, right? It's got 095 line like wow. landscapers use. Yeah. I mean, it's just really easy to use. Once again, just press, press under down here and, and then there. Here. You have the two little switches. Yeah, okay. Okay, got the feeling of power again. Ooh. Right. Gosh, I can't believe how light it is. Yeah, now let's talk about this bad boy because their mower is like. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and you need to tell Frank and Lisa to get out of the past and get into the future here. Seriously. I mean, I saw them <laughs> yanking on it. It was like a gym workout, right? Yeah. I think my biceps are bigger for sure. Yeah, <laughs> it's so much easier. Check this out, Lexi. I know you're a curious sort. Therein lies your gas tank and your power source right here. This is so cool. I know, this is 10 years in the making. The engineers wow. had to crack the code. This is like a V8 engine. This is 56 volt. It's 40% more powerful than its predecessor. Get out. So, so how long does this last for? Well, this will allow you to mow a lawn for about 45 minutes, but what's insane about it is the recharge time where the competitors, a lot of them are an hour or more. Yes. I mean, there's one out there that's 12 hours. That's crazy. Yeah, 30 minutes. <laughs> I love that. Right. So this is really cool. Now, this has got to be so much different than standing behind gas being flown at you. Oh, it's awful for you. And it doesn't smell good. No, and I mean, <laughs> as far as running this, it's about $1.48 per year. I mean, check this out, it's feature rich. I mean, once again, so easy to put in, right? You think, there you go. But look at this, one handle, all four wheels for height oh, adjustment right here. That's good. And then you can actually, because it's so quiet, you can mow in the early morning or later evening hours because you have LED headlights what? right here. Yeah, this thing really, it just sounds about like a vacuum cleaner. This is so nice too, look. Oh. You push this forward, you pull the bag out. Now this is a three-in-one mower, right? Okay. So you have the bag, looks like a little magic act pulling rabbits it out is. of the hat. Here's your mulch plug. Cool. And then we also have a side discharge so you can mow it which way you want to. Oh, that's nice. All right, ready for the magic? Show me. Here we go. It's like a transformer. It is. Ta-da! Wow. Isn't that cool? That is cool. So can I take this thing for a test drive? Yeah, you can. Yes. All right, here we go. Watch this again. You know this is a nice mower. Yeah, you can impress all your friends. And I kind of already started on a small patch of your yard and didn't do the best job. So you may want to start there, and then the rest is up to you. <laughs> Great. Let's do it. Awesome. Well, looks like another mission accomplished. These two have their hands full with some amazing new toys that are not only good for the environment, but are amazing and fun to play with. So stay tuned for more of this special edition of Operation Build. The first Earth Day was celebrated on April 22nd of 1970. So many companies across the U.S. and worldwide are committed to a manufacturing process that's both eco-friendly and 100% green. Ox Industries is at the top of that list as a company that's been committed from the beginning to environmental responsibility and manufacturing products that are 100% green and eco-friendly. From the beginning, Ox Industries' philosophy has been to manufacture total eco-friendly products, paper, and building products. I'm here with Kevin Hayward, owner of Ox Industries. Kevin, thanks so much for being a part of our Earth Day special. Tell me more about the Ox Industries' philosophy. Well, Lexi, our uh, company was founded on manufacturing green products. Uh, we operate our uh, company manufacturing three different product categories paper tubes and cores and protective packaging, 100% recycled paperboard, and uh, as you see here, engineered building products. It's so cool, and um, obviously an Earth-friendly company like yourself must do something special on Earth Day. How do you guys celebrate? Well, Earth Day is special for us. Um, we do it by celebrating uh, Earth Day and educating the youth and the communities that we serve. We do it with a uh, paper drive, which allows us the opportunity to teach kids about recycling, teach them about energy efficiency, 
and how green building uh, can actually help save the environment and potentially using the products that we manufacture to do that. That's incredible. Now, obviously being Operation Build, I want to know more about these green building products. So we manufacture three products, uh, Thermaply, Structural Sheathing, ISO-RED, Continuous Insulation, and a combination of those two, which is Styrofoam SIS, which is a structural insulated sheathing. Wow, so what's the difference between that and everything else that's out there? The products that we manufacture are green alternatives to traditional building products. Our structural thermoply is a uh, stable priced alternative to a traditional wood panel, which is typically like an oriented strand board or a plywood board for the exterior of the home. Our poly ISO insulation adds our value uh, to the exterior of the house and complies with all 2012 energy code standards. when they're looking for this uh, eco-friendly thing, they're also looking for an economic benefit as well. Is there that that's involved? Well, our Thermaply is a stable priced alternative to those products, those traditional uh, products. And not only is it stable, stable priced from a price point, but it's also uh, easier and lower cost to use in the field. Is there savings over the long term? For our structural insulated sheathing, uh, there's savings over the long term uh, in energy efficiency. Uh, as you may or may not know, there's 41% of all U.S. energy consumed in the United States is, is through the operation of our buildings wow. in the United States, wow. and 73% of that is electricity. So having a more energy efficient home is uh, all part of uh, energy savings of the operation of the house, maintaining the um, value, long-term value of the home because of its low operation costs. And do you guys do work with green builders? We do. Uh, we uh, were fortunate enough to be part of a multifamily uh, low-income housing home in uh, Richmond, Virginia. It was the first net near zero project in the area at the time. Um, also, we're part of a lead silver housing development and right in Dallas, uh, which is also the location of the largest Earth Day celebration in the United States this year. Wow. Part of that education with our youth it allows them to understand the economic side of uh, recycling and energy efficiency. It also allows them to raise money by collecting uh, recyclables that are going to eventually be in those products and raise money for the, the causes that they have or the programs that they have in their schools. Currently, Ox Paperboard recycles 105,000 tons of paper each year. That's equal to 367,000 cubic yards saved from landfills annually, and 17 trees per ton, which basically means that 1.7 million trees are saved each year by using these products. So from a consumer standpoint, why is it important that we look for products that are green and eco-friendly? Uh, because it's sustainable. It's something that we must do to continue to move forward going ahead. You know, part of the 2012 Energy Code standards are because of the added increased efficiencies of our buildings reduces our need to build more power plants, coal-fired power plants, nuclear power plants. Uh, you know, if we waste less energy um, by insulating or making our homes more energy efficient, we improve the environment and the communities that we're living in. Well, Kevin, thank you so much for inviting me in and showing me how this works. It's so cool to learn all this stuff. And for those of you out there, don't go anywhere because we have more coming up on this special edition of Operation Build. We get to meet a family, hear their amazing story, and get to address a long-awaited eco need. Stay tuned. Earth Day originated in the U.S., but became recognized worldwide by 1990. of the roofs. <laughs> Derek and Deb Roof are an amazing couple. Not only do they care about the environment, but they care for children in need by opening up their home as foster parents. Now Derek and Deb are in desperate need of a safe solution for their pool and the environment. This is just the beginning of their amazing story. 
So tell me about your situation with Willow. How did she come into your life? And we got Willow when she was three weeks old. <laughs> and uh, she was a tough baby. Uh, very colicky and had to really uh, get her on different formulas because she just couldn't tolerate ones. And then, you know, she progressed normally till she was six months old. And then uh, she wasn't progressing anymore and everybody kind of wondered why. And uh, found out at nine months old that um, she was diagnosed with Tay-Sachs, which is a genetic disorder. Now, I just in being at your home, I can see that you two really care about not only these amazing children that have been in your lives, but the environment. And tell me a little bit more about that, why you've taken such an interest in your impact that you make. We all have to. I, if, if we don't do it, we, there is no other earth. You know, yes, we're looking for other places, but without environmentally friendly products, we have nothing. Mm. The energy that we consume is amazing. Mm -hmm. So we've chosen to supplement it with uh, solar electric, solar water now mm -hmm. for the, the pool. Tell me first what you were experiencing with your pool, the skin symptoms and... I was a uh, athlete, a swimming athlete, and uh, um, developed a allergy from chlorine after going to the local uh, athletic uh, fitness center. And uh, that was late in life. Wow. Well, to give up the pool was just almost impossible for me. And uh, so the allergy would cause me to break out in a rash just basically all over my legs. For some reason, it was just the legs, and I don't know why. I'm here with Clint Holland from Waterco. Clint, now this pool looks amazing, but the coolest part that I've noticed is when you get close, you see these little bubbles. Well, these little bubbles are part of a remarkable system called hydroxypure. Mm -hmm. And what that does is has hydrogen peroxide and ozone to come into your pool as chemicals instead of chlorine. Uh -huh. And what that does is it gives you a highly oxygenated water to swim in. Wow. It's kind of like swimming in all these little bubbles. They're like champagne bubbles <laughs> that you'd be swimming in. And it feels so great to swim in this stuff. Yeah. No burns, no eye problems, no hair smell. None of that, because the chlorine is gone. So now, is this a new technology? Or? It's been around for a few years. Okay. It was developed in Australia by some brilliant scientists over there. Now, why is something like this good for the environment as opposed to a chlorine pool? Well, for the environment, certainly, because you, you in a chlorine pool, you have to dump the pool periodically. So you've got a lot of water wastage. Secondly, obviously, the health effects of the chlorine. Sure. Third is, your equipment deteriorates. Ah. You have a problem, the chlorine will eventually degrade all of your plastics, huh. where the hydrogen peroxide doesn't do that. Because now you're talking about, literally, what is hydrogen peroxide? Okay. It's H2O2, it's oxygenated water. Wow. Wow, so this is it. This is actually surprisingly more quiet than I thought it would be. Absolutely, this is the EnviroPro system uh -huh. from Waterco. Right now what you're listening to is a very quiet, variable speed pump that goes up and down as the need so that you don't use the energy. Nice and quiet technology. That's just one small part of this whole system, this whole system approach. Wow, now what is this happening right there? Ah, you found the magic area. Yes. The magic area is where we inject the chemicals and we inject the ozone. You can see the little bubbles sure. coming up through there. This goes into what we call the multi-cyclone. Okay. This removes particulate matter that's coming from the pool, spins it out through a multi-cyclone, cyclonic action. This takes care of all the cleaning of the water as it comes into this reaction chamber at the top of the multi-cyclone. Wow, and now can you, how do you change the levels of things? Is that automatic? Do you, do you have to come do it or do you have an app? Or? Exactly, we have both an app oh, and cool. we have the Aquamaster which ties into the app, okay. but that is all controlled and it controls the hydroxypure system up here, uh -huh. which feeds in your chemicals and doses it exactly what's needed for the pool. Wow. It's all part of the measurement system that was invented by Waterco to make sure you can control your pool with the right amount of hydroxypure without overdosing or underdosing. And this is all run by the solar panels on the roof. It's, you got your solar panels on the roof and it automatically changes. It goes from 
If you want an energy efficient heat pump here, which is basically the reverse of an air conditioner, yeah. it takes heat, exhausts out the cool, or it sends it up on the roof when the need is, heats up the water up there, wow. and brings that back to the pool. Automatically adjusts itself to whichever device gives you the best heat for the pool. This is really incredible. And, and I have to say, you know, for the whole system, it, it's pretty simple, like I, I understand it. I get how it works, I get the benefits. You hear hydrogen peroxide, you hear oxygenating your pool, and it just, it makes more sense. Mission accomplished on Operation Build on this very special Earth Day celebration. Thank you to the Roof family for going green with their new Waterco water system. And most of all, for sharing their personal story about their daughter, Willow. Thanks for watching this special Earth Day edition of Operation Build. As always, if you know of someone in need or suffering a negative life circumstance, we hope you'll email us. And don't forget to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Until next time, I'm Alexi Panos.